Hey kids and family, welcome back. It's Pastor Seth here with another edition of our Reality Kids lesson. And this week's lesson is another parable. So be on the lookout for it. We're going to get ready to introduce in just one second. But first, as always, we're going to need to do our memory verse. I hope you've been following along at home. Parents, check your kids. Ask them what that memory verse is. If not, here's a refresher. Andrew, take it away. Thanks, Seth. Today's memory verse is, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22 through verse 37 through 39. Back to you, Seth. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Great job again, as always. So, like I said, we've been going through a couple of parables now, and today we're going to start another parable. This one's called the parable of the sower. And remember, parables are just stories that Jesus told that kind of made it a little bit easier to learn a lesson or to learn something very meaningful. And today, the parable of the sower, if you're following along at home, is found in your Bibles. And it's found on page 1134, 1134. And it's also found in Luke chapter 8. And today we're going to be reading verses 4 through 8. And then we're also going to be reading verses 11 through 15. So, let's get ready to read and follow along. All right, the story of the parable goes like this. Luke chapter 8, here we're going to start with verse 4. While a large crowd was gathering and people were coming to Jesus from town after town, he told this parable. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some of it fell along the path and it was trampled on and the birds ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground. And when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell along the thorns, which grew up with it and then choked out the plant. Still, other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded crop a hundred times more than was sown. So let's take a pause. What do you think this parable means? What do you think the seed is? What do you think the different types of ground? What do you think all that means? I challenge you, ask your parents right now, pause the video if you need to, and ask. And then, as always, Jesus gives an explanation. So we're going to follow along. Verse 11 now. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those along the path are the ones who hear and then the devil comes along and takes the word away from their hearts so that they may not believe and not be saved. Verse 13, those on the rocky ground are the ones who receive the word with joy when they hear it, but they have no roots. They believe for a while, but in the time of testing or something hard comes their way, they fall away. Verse 14, the seed that fell among the thorns stands for those who hear, but as they go along on their way, they're choked out by life's worries about how many riches and pleasures, and they do not mature in life. Verse 15, but the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and a good heart. They hear the word, retain it, and by preserving produce a crop. So that means they bear good fruit. Later on, in a couple of lessons, we'll actually talk about what a good fruit is and the fruits of the Spirit. But today's lesson is just a challenge. What kind of fruit are you bearing and what kind of seeds are you sowing? Are you sowing good seed? Are you a nice, healthy soil? Or are you kind of the rocky soil or the thorns that get choked out? As soon as something challenging comes your way, you forget all about the Word of God. So I challenge you, look into your heart this week. Ask yourself, what kind of seed am I sowing? And what kind of soil am I sowing it on? And don't worry, Jesus loves you no matter what, and he cares about you. And today, I have a special treat for you. I'm introducing another new puppet. You may know him as Robbie's dad, but around here we just call him Jeff. But Jeff has a dad joke for you. Jeff, take it away. Thanks, Seth. Bringing it back for a dad joke of the week. My name's Jeff. And boy, do I got a knee slapper for you today. Here we go. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. <laughs> Back to you, Seth. <laughs> Did you get it? If not, 
I didn't either. I'm just joking. I totally got it because I'm a dad. Ah, good joke, Jeff. Thanks again. All right, kids. Thanks for tuning in for another Reality Kids lesson. I hope you enjoyed this one. Join me again on Zoom on Thursday, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Once again, join us on Zoom. For more information, check out our Valley West Christian Center Facebook page. Thanks. Have a great day.